disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it all now. But when He comes, the Spirit of truth, He will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on His own, but He will speak what He hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify Me because He will take from what is Mine and declare it to you. Everything the Father has is Mine, and for this reason I showed you that He will take from what is Mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Pilgrim people. Pilgrims are on a journey to a holy place. And we indeed are on a journey to a holy place. But you know, it's not always about the destination. It's also about the journey, how we get there. And Jesus Christ always promised us that He would have we would have His peace. Not the peace that we have in this world, but the peace that only comes from God. And so on our journey, we have that peace. <coughs> Makes its journey what it's supposed to be. So let's get our GPS out and map our journey. Well, GPS is a God positioning system, right? <laughs> because we know where we're going, right? We're going to see God. Not today, I hope. But we're going to see God. That's the journey we're on. We have a tension. A tension in our life with God. You know, we have not been reconciled with God for many, many centuries. And then, finally, Jesus Christ, through the blood of, his, the blood of Christ, He did ransom us and relieve that tension that we have with God, that distance that we have from God. I've been talking to the here in the Daily Daily Mass this week about the ransom that Jesus paid for us, the high price that He paid for us, for our salvation. And we have to protect that. We have to protect that great gift that we have received from Jesus Christ. And we protect that on our journey by nourishing ourselves. Just like you eat every day for your body's sake, you also need to nourish your soul every day. Nourish your soul, exercise your soul for this journey. As I said, Jesus Christ ransomed for us our salvation. In our journey, we many times we do have tension in our life and I know when I was growing up for many, many years, I had tension with my father. For many years, I blamed him for many things, and it was a strained relationship with my father. But you know, it's really about pride, about pride, and that's why the tension was there. And it does no good for anyone. On our journey, we want that peace, that peace that Jesus gives us. We want to reconcile to everyone in our life. And so I urge you that for people that in your life that you don't want to carry that tension